Welcome back. Hello, update. Woo woo. Got some paint. We did some painting today. Pardon the wind. I promise it wasn't uh wasn't this windy earlier. So this is the Sherwin Williams DTM with a splash of Valspar hardener. I think it turned out pretty snazzy. So we'll see how it holds up. A little science experiment. That's the electrical enclosure. Lots of holes and stuff blown in it. There's a few extras. You know, can't future proof for everything, but there are a couple extra half, half, three quarter, you know, holes for various accessories that one might want to add. Here's the bottom box. Painted the bottom and then set it up on that uh, quarter barrel and painted the rest and I just swizzled the casters on there so when it gets a little closer to evening time we'll pop it off there and just roll it inside. Right. So here you can see this is a let's say more it's a much more heavy duty than anything that you could get for cheap nowadays like a craftsman or a harbor freight or something this is probably this box is like 45 years old or something um, but it's like double walled and it's it's a stout stout unit but still added you can see the square tubing that has been added on there it just sort of tied the room together if you know what I mean and on the bottom there's also some big chunks of plate that sort of span across and that's actually what the casters are uh, bolted that plates tapped and See here, there's a panel that's been bonded and riveted onto the side of the enclosure there. And all the various nut certs for uh, things that mount to there. That's where the intensifier and regulators and the oil pump and uh, a bunch of stuff bolts on to there. So the nut certs definitely make it handy for doing that kind of, kind of stuff when you're working with sheet metal. Let's see if I can get some better light. The I really don't know what this looks like. Uh, you can see on the back, there's also a big, a big plate that was stitched on there, sort of like a spine, just because uh, there's a, you know, that's where the majority of the load is transferred through the back there, and then down onto uh, the casters. Oh, the casters. Then there's the wood. Oh, the wood. It wouldn't be a homemade machine without a drizzling of wood, homie. Really though, it's a piece of birch, Baltic birch. I sealed it with some shellizac, some shellacazizac, so it wouldn't soak up the paint like a sponge and uh, it's carriage bolted there. It's just like on the toolbox, the disposable or replaceable top. And so, yeah, man, getting homely. And then here's the, this is what the machine bolts to and then what holds the machine to the enclosure, which in turn holds it to the base. So it's sort of like a flanged thing, bolts from the bottom and then that's sealed and then there's that sealed bolts. These are all tapped and sealed and bolts in there and then get sealed around the base. It's made out of like a couple feet of two by four two by six rectangular tubing it's like pied welded into a square and then I added a plate in the middle just to uh, seal it off so the machine 
base and all the bottom is this color. It's the darker gray. Um, and then the enclosure in there will be the lighter whitey gray and the castings of the machine and stuff will be uh, the darker gray again so two-tone a little stainless sprinkled about some stickers it'll be cool uh, the louvers are looking pretty sick that's cool that these came out of the you know the little uh, tin cover that uh, came on the stock grizzly motor I cut the louvers out of that and patched them into my own box that's for the power supply so a little piece of the grizzly lives on every time I look at those louvers I'm gonna think oh it's so special and then coming into this pigsty that's the panel that bolts into the electrical enclosure all the uh, switches and doodads and contactors and BFDs and whatnot are bolted to that. That's just uh, appliance epoxy white. That's a refrigerator white. Is your refrigerator running? Uh, yeah, that epoxy paint is pretty cool, man. Tough. Dries quick, too, especially when you bake it. Lots of these things, uh, with that oven before it goes to the dump, I've been trying to get some use out of it and spray the epoxy paint on and then bake it. It turns it into like, I'm not going to say kryptonite, but like maybe kryptonite's cousin or something. For hella cheap, like $3.99. This is the, that's the door to the bottom box. With the coolant pump and return and all that stuff hides and some solenoids so other than that oh yeah the enclosure slung a little mud on her so when i get back next week i'm gonna knock that down and start getting that painted and get the castings on the machine painted and we're heading for assembly so yeah Figure I better go pack. I got to uh, catch a plane and a train and a car. So, thanks for watching. And uh, if you got any questions, shoot me a comment. If not, thank you. Appreciate uh, all the people that subscribe and say what's up, participate. So, thank you. We'll catch you later.